Welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thanks for joining me. If you could, please leave a like, subscribe down below. As well, hit that little bell out beside the subscribe button. That way you never miss anything from the Big Ranch Show. Now on to our story. This is a rather sad story and it hits kind of close to home in a way because I grew up in the same area where this took place. The other day, a woman took the lives of her two daughters. And it, it baffles the mind how a parent could kill her own children. It just baffles the mind. Two little girls are dead, five and seven. One was, you know, one was in kindergarten for crying out loud. In, around, in and around Maybank, Texas. Better known to some people that may not be, you know, in the area. Better known as the Cedar Creek Lake area. And I believe they said it happened closer down towards the Paint Springs area. I'm not 100% sure because I'm just hearing Maybank, which is where I went to high school. But this woman, Sarah Nicole Henderson, Apparently got, I don't know if she got in a fight with her husband, which is the children's step parent, stepfather, or what. But at 11 o'clock, somewhere after 11 o'clock last night, before mid, just before midnight, there was a call in, put into EMS talking about a woman who might be suicidal. But when sheriff deputies arrived, they called off the EMS because there was, they didn't see anybody in distress. Everything seemed okay. And so they went on doing with their duties and everything and they went on on their patrol and then a few hours later around 2 30 in the morning there was a phone call made to 911 from a gentleman saying that a woman had just shot her two kids when ems arrived both 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 the seven-year-old and the five-year-old were dead of gunshot wounds to, the, uh, to their bodies now, I have not heard, they haven't said where they were shot, but it doesn't really matter, does it? These children are now gone. These children are no longer here. All because of the actions of a vile, vile monster of a human being. Let me see if I can get their names here. I think they, yeah, here's an article with their names. Um, let's see. The seven-year-old's name was Kaylee Daniel, Danielle, Kaylee Danielle, and the other girl, and the other girl, five, her name was Kenil, K-E-N-L-I-E, um, Kinley, maybe? I'm not very good with names, I apologize if I, if I didn't do well with the names there. I will find out a pronunciation of the names if I do a later update. And, but apparently, these two little girls are dead because of their mother. I will not put up a picture of the mother. But here's a picture of the little girls. This breaks my heart. This kind of stuff needs to stop happening. It's, 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 it's insane, people. It's insane. How can parents go around killing their own children? It just happened up in Dallas recently with that son of a bitch from India who, who adopted a child from India and then subsequently murders her. Or makes her choke on her milk, as he said. And now you have this son of a bitch going off and murdering her daughters. What, because she was upset at somebody? Because she had a bad day? We all have bad days. We all get upset at people. We all get pissed off. But only vile pieces of crap like Sarah Nicole Henderson kill their children. If you ask me, I hope this woman gets every every bit of punishment that's possible. And in the state of Texas, that is up to the death penalty. And I am not a big supporter of the death penalty. 
but I am in cases of child murder. You kill a child, you should be put to death, period. And you know, this woman has admitted that she did it. Sure, I'm sure there will be some kind of plea deal or she'll change her mind and plead not guilty and by reason of insanity or some BS like that. And they're going to claim that, and I'm sure she'll claim because there was a call put into EMS that she was suicidal, that she's not to blame. Well, if you're suicidal, you don't kill your children. You kill your damn self. Leave the children out of it. They're innocent. They have nothing to do with your problems. You chose to have the children. And now they're gone. Not only have you hurt your, you know, your, your family, and I'm sure they have a father somewhere. The, pe the community, the Cedar Creek Lake community is hurting over this because one woman, one vile, disgusting piece of crap had to go off and take two children from this world. Both were children of Southside Elementary in Maybank, Texas. And that school is hurting. The children are hurting. The neighbors are hurting. And these children are gone. I cannot believe people like this exist. How do people like this, how are they allowed to, to reproduce how can you sit here and how can they sit here and think this is okay? Dear God. If you don't want your children, there are many, many people in this world who would love to adopt your children. Don't murder them because you're an asshole. No child deserves to be shot dead. No child deserves to be murdered. No, pa no parent should be murdering their own flesh and blood. If you ask me, this is one of the most evil things you can freaking do as a human being. Crimes against children, murders of children, there's no excuse for that. I don't want to hear some BS claim of, oh, she was mentally unstable, or oh, she had mental health issues. From what I hear, some 70 to 80 percent of Americans have mental health issues. You don't see them going off murdering all their children. Some people think I'm being too mean. You're wrong. This vile bitch murdered her children. She deserves every bit that she gets. You want to murder your children? You should be put in death row. End of story. Y'all have the best day you can. Please keep the family and friends of these two little girls in your thoughts and prayers. And be kind to each other. To borrow a line from Ellen. I'll see you down the road.